Hello everyone, we will continue the topic performance tools and in the previous video, we discussed ST05 with the help of this tool, we checked the performance or we measured the performance of SQL queries. Now we will move on to our next performance tool and our next performance tool is for runtime analysis. With the help of ST05, yes, we check the performance of SQL queries, but with the help of this runtime analysis tool, we will check the performance of full program. We will fully analyze the program. It is runtime analysis tool. It will give you the full runtime analysis of the program. And the transaction code for the same is SAT. Analysis tool. Analysis tool. Runtime analysis tool. The previous transaction code, the old transaction code for the runtime analysis tool was SE30. Now SAP provided a new transaction code for the runtime analysis is SAT. If I will go to SE30 also, system will clearly, clearly give me the pop-up do you want to go for old runtime analysis tool or do you want to go for new runtime analysis tool? Old means SE30, new means SAT. Suppose if I will go to SE30, if I will go for SE30 transaction code, you can see I'm clearly, clearly getting a pop-up. We have the new runtime analysis tool is SAT and this is old runtime analysis tool. If I will go for old SE30, it will take me to the old runtime analysis tool. If I will simply, simply click on to this runtime new SAT, it will take me to the new runtime analysis tool that is SAT. So it is totally your wish from SC30 also, you can navigate to new runtime analysis tool or it's always, always good. And anyways, we have a transaction code. So I will simply, simply put SAT and we are going for new runtime analysis tool. And yes, if something new is provided, we should always, always go for that. So if you are going for SC30 also, it will clearly give you that. Do you want to go to new runtime analysis tool? It will take you to SAT. And you can directly go through SAT transaction code also. Now, what we will do, we will take a program. We will run that program with the help of this tool and it will give us the full runtime analysis of the program. See, with the help of ST05, we measured the performance of SQL queries only. But program has lots of things. We have so many loop statements. We have so many other codes also. So it is not always the case that select queries are impacting the performance. It might be the case. We have put loop statements. We have written other lines of code and those are affecting the performance. So in that case, what we will do, we will simply run the program with the help of this tool and it will give us the full runtime analysis of the program. And we will see that this portion of the program is taking time. We should focus that area to improve the performance. Now, I will go for same to same program. You can pass 
transaction code also if you have a transaction code if you have a function module you can check the performance of function module also so we have this program i am taking same to same program which i took for st05 also same to same alv program now rather than running the program individually i will run this program with the help of this tool runtime analysis tool i will click on to execute now i will give some input just we are running the program through this m tool itself so that we can analyze i will go to execute we got the output i will go to back button i will go to back button you can see it is preparing the full runtime analysis just see it is full runtime analysis of the program for us what is this we simply put the program name give the input and we got the output but internally just see how many things are there in this full runtime analysis full runtime analysis of the program once you got the full runtime analysis but the first thing you have to do you need to go for the area which is taking maximum time or maximum duration because this is our target if a portion is taking maximum time we should target that area to improve the performance so what you have to do after that simply simply click for gross column we have a option sort in descending order this full runtime analysis this full runtime analysis measurement we are going for descending order based upon gross it means whatever the area is taking maximum time it will be at the top yes and we can simply simply improve the performance of that area see manually it is very difficult how you can go so much lines of code manually to improve the performance just run your program with the help of this tool focus what are the top most areas where duration is more and we will simply simply focus on those areas to minimize the duration so i will just go for this column and i will sort in descending order you can see whatever the areas are taking maximum time they are at the top itself top yes it might be the case there is no scope of improvement the logic is written in an excellent way that there is no scope of improvement but we should understand that this area is taking maximum time is there any scope of improvement in that particular area suppose after sorting in descending order based upon gross column click on to this source code button it will take you which code is taking maximum time if i will click here see this is not our code internally sap also called so many code so this is not our code so we cannot do anything here if i will go for second top most area also which is taking time so have you seen this is also not our code so this is the way you can check point by point Yes. Do you have your own code? Is there any code which is written by you is taking maximum time? So you can simply simply check and improve the performance. Then I told yes. It might be the case there is no scope of the improvement. Whatever the top most areas you identified, nothing is related to your logic at all. So in that case, we cannot do anything. But yes. 
whenever performance issues are there definitely many times the issues are with our code itself we need to go for the performance of those particular areas so what you have to do just go for descending order based upon gross you will get the top most areas which are taking maximum time go for the code and check is there any scope of improvement in that particular code now now we will go for next important point sometimes if you see in the real project this task continued for so many days suppose simple example today i did the runtime analysis i found five areas which are taking time so we change the code for the same then we will again run that tool then what was the previous runtime analysis measurement was there and now what is the current runtime analysis measurement is there we need to compare both yes because sometimes customers strictly ask show me the measurement file how much significant improvement is there so in that case yes we need to show yes we need to show that this is our previous measurement file this is our current measurement file and we have a significant amount of improvement so how how you can see the various measurement file suppose if i will go to back button now we have a tab here evaluate what is the purpose of this tab today i did the runtime analysis after 2 to 3 days i am again doing the runtime analysis so how i can check the previous runtime analysis so in this particular tab you will be able to see the previous runtime analysis also so that you can check that portion took that much time at that point of time now what is the current time of that particular portion because after that only we can comment that we have improved the performance if i will go to evaluate button you can see just now i run the just now we did the and just now we run the program and we have run time measurement so you can simply simply select this is the last one which i did you can simply go for display button or you can double click also it will take you to that suppose we are again going for runtime analysis so i will go to sat again so that i can show you this is 1127 suppose we did some code changes and after that again we are going for runtime analysis program name execute i will give some input i will go to back button i will go to back button runtime analysis generated we are able to see at this point of time but if after 2 to 3 days or after a certain amount of time if i want to check how i will check i will simply go to sat transaction code now i will simply simply go to evaluate button and you can see previously was 1127 now it is 1150 we have a option of comparison also you can compare the measurement at in the first measurement what was the time taken for that area now it is taking how much time suppose if i will compare these two versions you can see it is clearly saying net net of 2 net of 1 gross of 2 gross of 1 everything is there everything because after that only we can show to the customer that we have done a significant amount of improvement you can simply simply check the individual version also suppose we will go for first version and we can see okay that portion took 
this much time at that point of time. After my code change, this particular version, that particular portion took this much time. So I did a significant amount of improvement in that duration. So this is the way how we can use this particular tool. So what is the full summary of the video? In this video, we discussed runtime analysis tool and the transaction code for the same is SAT. It is a new runtime analysis tool. You can go for old also, but if something is new, we should always, always use that. The old transaction code was SE30. If you go to SAT, give your program name for which program you want to go for or you want to analyze that or you want to check the performance. Pass the program name, execute. After that, once you go to back button, it will give you full runtime analysis. Yes, the difference between ST05 and this is it will give you full runtime analysis of the program. Yes, you can simply, simply sort the runtime analysis based upon gross column. You can go for descending order because in that case, what will happen? Whatever the portions are taking maximum time, it will be at the top. You can click on to a backboard and you will analyze, yes, is there any scope of improvement in that code? After that, if you want to check the previous measurement, if you want to compare your current measurement with the previous measurement, it is always, always available in the evaluate button. Most, most important performance tool and widely, widely used in the projects. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.